This is our last chance. If we don't take it, Michelle dies. How did it become your responsibility to save her? Because I'm here. Because I can. So let's uh, let's kind of acknowledge straight up. This is a movie that both made me cry. It also made me laugh because of Alan on roller skates. Alan, is that a, a usual hobby for you? Um, well, as you could see in the film, <laughs> he uh, wasn't acting. He, yeah, there was no uh, no acting required. Uh, that imbalance was real. No, um, I haven't roller skated since I was like eight. And you realize it's really hard. Your balance is different. Yeah, and as I, we get older. And I remember it was one of the first questions, the requirement for this film. And John Gunn, the writer director, was like, as as I was vying for the for the film, he said, "Can you roller?" Skate. I said, I'm an excellent roller skater. I, it's almost an Olympian. And uh, and and then you saw what happened. But it doesn't matter because then what are they going to do? Fire you by the time you're halfway through filming? No, of course not. Trick. And you're obviously a great fit for the role alongside Hillary. You guys bring this beautiful story to life, of course, called Ordinary Angels. Hillary, what do you think inspires these kind of ordinary acts of kindness? All I can think is you don't realize it, but it's probably God. I mean, I think that Empathy is a quality, a spiritual quality. And I think that we feel the soul of another human being through our likeness of that other human being. And I think that she saw this person in need and this child in need nonetheless, that I think pulls at our heartstrings even more. And um, we want to help others. And in turn, I don't, I think we know deep down inside that it's really helping us because we're all one people and we're all interconnected. Good answer. Thank you. That was the realest answer. Yeah, you wish you pinched that one. But your character, Alan, Ed, he is a, a dad in a really difficult situation. And one of the scenes that stood out to me is when his daughter, the eldest daughter, asks about how they can still have faith in God, even though there's that anger, you know, encouraging Ed to stay connected to faith. How do you think Ed did that? How did he stay faithful, even though he was angry with God? That's a great question. I mean, look, I've wrestled with God in my own life. You know, there are times where it's like, where are you? You know, are you real? Are you here? Are you going to do something to help if you're so good? I mean, we, you know, I think many of us have had that, uh, come to that crossroads, you know, um, but I'm, t I think the act of wrestling with God, there's an invitation there for everybody to do it. I think that's where God knows now we can begin. You know, now we can have a conversation and uh, now you're listening and now you'll see where I show up. But I think so many of us skip over that and go right to, to, to unbelief and we miss this opportunity to engage with God in a very real way. In this movie, we see Ed, I think, really struggling in that moment. You know, the wrestling match begins. And so I think that's where the, the life springs forth in his faith, um, you know, which seems like he gets there. Yeah, yeah. And there is definitely a wrestle between the two characters of Ed and Sharon. Uh, Hilary, what do you think is Sharon's interest in Ed's family? Why do they appeal so much to her? Well, I think she is at her lowest. It's like, the dark day of her or dark night of her soul when she goes to that grocery store and she's buying more beer after having a hard night. She realizes she's lost her son through actions in the past and she sees this young girl in need in the front of a newspaper and it pulls at her heartstrings. And I think that she can't stop thinking about her and that pulls her into action. And it's going to be an incredible movie for uh, us to watch here in Australia. Can't wait to share it with audiences. Alan, what do you hope that people take away from Ordinary Angels? Oh, I, you know, this film is an inspiring one. You know, it's hard to watch it and not get emotional. Where those emotions are coming from is this place in all of us that exists where we're, we're reminded we're created beings here to help one another. Uh, sometimes we forget that. Uh, sometimes we think it's all about us and our ambitions. And uh, this reminds us that we're, we're here to find ways to help others through our creativity, talent, time, treasure, all that. And um, hopefully, you know, this inspires others to, to live out that calling.